What's up guys going on? It's your boy here, Ryan Ryan Beats. How's everybody doing? Today is an embroidery project. If you guys are interested in that and seeing how I use the, the Hoop Master system, stay tuned. All right guys, so like I said, it's an embroidery project. Uh, we're doing a two color embroidery. It's gonna be a left chest on polos, but a little scared about these polos because, let me show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys. It is a very expensive polo. <laughs> very expensive. Um, let me get one out, let me get one out. Let me, let me put you guys down. Let me put you guys, I'll put you guys somewhere. So like I was saying, it's very expensive because it is a, oh this one's open, cool. it is, it's, it's a Lululemon um, brand, Lululemon, and look at the price tag, $88, so uh, basically 90 bucks, I don't know, it's, it's a very, very nice shirt. Is a very nice shirt, um, very expensive shirt. So a little worried about that, <laughs> just because of how the cost of the shirt or you no know, the garment. Uh, but it is what it is. This was from the customer. This is what they wanted. It's actually going to a fitness uh, facility. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this just give you guys a little bit of background. Um, you guys know um, I do CrossFit. So in the same complex, there's a um, a design printing company there. Uh, I think there were like one, two, three. I think like three or uh, three, three business units down. Um, you know, I wanted to stop by and say what's up. You know, just see how they're doing and see if I could do like a YouTube thing with them. But you know, I told them this is what I do, and they said, oh, we got some embroidery stuff that you can do for us. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, that company, um, they're called AS Designs uh, or 209 AS Designs or AS Designs 209. I'll put in their information in the description below. Um, they do awesome work. But anyways, uh, yeah, this is what we're doing. We're doing the left chest here, left chest print. And yeah, so they have a specific thread that they wanted. I got the thread, which is, well, it's not a specific thread, but it's a specific color that they wanted. So I got this color right here. All right, so first things first is we're going to replace the blue one I have on there with this. Um, so what we're gonna do is get our blue here, cut it down here, give us a little bit of room, take this one out. Oh. So if you guys see the difference, this one's a little lighter than this one. So this is specific color they want. That's what we're gonna use. So if you guys are fairly new to embroidery, Best thing to do if you are doing the color change is cut off um, the thread and give it a little bit of lead. What you can do is put this guy here. What you do is you tie a knot. Not too big of a knot because it has to go through the uh, the system here. I'm sure Ramon's watching this like, hey man, you're doing you're doing an, a wrong knot. I'm like, I know, I know, I know. All right, so when that's done, all you gotta do is to find that blue thread, which is this guy right here, and pull slowly, make sure it goes through, and there it is, yeah. So this is the best way of doing it, instead of going through there, re-threading it, re-feeding it all the way down, all the stuff, so yeah, that's how you do it. I'm sure you guys knew about that already. So let's go ahead and feed this thing in. Yeah, so what we're gonna do now is do a quick stitch out, make sure it's correct, it's orientated correctly, and I don't have to waste or mess up these expensive shirts. Yeah, so if you guys are wondering, I've done my stitch out already. I did it in this canvas bag. So first we did this one, which is, it was too wide and wrong color, and this thing was all messed up, if you guys can see that. And we did this one, which is three inches or half inch smaller. These things came out pretty well, but it's the wrong color blue. So we're gonna do another stitch out, make sure everything is 
up to par and good to go. All right, there it is. See the difference in color? So that's what we're gonna do. But anyways, um, I forgot to put some oil in the system and lubricate the other stuff. It's been three weeks, so I gotta do the other one. So let's go ahead and do it. Uh, first things first, I got this pen here. I gotta get a better lubrication system here. Let's see, you put one here. Put one at the bobbin. Go ahead and uh, using the the ML5, we're gonna lubricate the uh, couple of sprays. So, looking at this book, okay, for logo placement to use the the Hoopmaster is logo placement for men's uh, medium is C15, C15. So that means we're gonna be putting the collar at the C and 15 here, which is our target circle. So let's let's go ahead and do that. Again, that circle needs to be on the 15. Where is it? 15, where's 15? Oh, there it is. 15. Okay. Um, the backing we're going to be using is the Cut Hefty 2.0 or 2 ounce, I guess. Not 2.0, but. Let's flip that up and put our backing like so. Alright, so if you guys are wondering what I was talking about. The C, the, co the collar, right there. I'm just trying to line up this line, make sure it's straight on these buttons. And looking at the collar here, or the seam, make sure it's somewhat even on each side. Now I'm supposed to just put this thing down. Uh, which way? This way. All right, by looking at it, it looks a little far out. So let me, let me try this again. So, what do you guys think? I think it looks good. The placement is much better. If I would have used what they, you know, the, um, the paperwork, this thing would have been like over here in the armpit area. And we don't want that. We want it to be centered in between. It looks good. Gosh, it looks really good. It looks really good. Now we gotta do now is do a little bit of cleanup. Make sure the threads are, are gone. Well, you know, all the little hanging threads. I didn't want to tear, I didn't want to tear it. So, uh, that's what we're doing. All right, cool. I'm happy with that. Very happy with it. Um, let's go ahead and uh, do the other ones. Right, guys we are done look here it is this is the large it looks good um 
I was actually trying it on. Not trying it on, but putting it where I would wear it. So if you just look at it, it's good. Look, it's right, right where the chest is. So, mm, looks good. Looks good to me. Looks good to me. Yeah. So if you guys are not sure about placement, um, try to put it on in that sense, you know, and then you can use a, like a blue tape where it should be or where you'd like it to be. But um, it looks good. I think it looks good. So again, we're do using a very, very, very expensive Lululemon $90 polos here. It's actually really nice, really nice fabric. It's for the gym. So um, man, it's, I'm telling you, really nice fabric, but that's it. It's right 209. All right, guys, well, that's it. Um, it's just a quick left chest print to, to color um, using the, uh, the Mighty Hoop, using the Mighty Hoop thing there, which is pretty dope. Um, yeah, I was really worried about the fabric because uh, if I mess this up, <laughs> I, I'll be spending a hundred bucks per shirt and I didn't want to do that. So, all right, guys, that's it. It's a quick two color left chest print or embroidery print on these very very expensive lululemon um polos again thank you for uh as designs that's their logo as designs for uh giving me the opportunity to print these now if you guys are wondering it's uh 209 asdesigns.com go check them out guys they do phenomenal work out here in the bay area but yeah that's it like subscribe hit that notification bell leave a comment below and i'll see you guys in the next one keep grinding peace out